YouTube family. Let's talk about it. The Memphis streets done turned up a lot. I know y'all gonna be like, bless one, DJ bless one. Hold on, stop the pressures, bro. You already talked about the streets. You already said it's hot. We know that. But what I'm doing is giving you actual information and facts and stats that's going on right now in Memphis. Now, folks think it's just sweet case. It's been, it's been cool and quiet for a little bit. It's because a lot of crimes ain't being reported, but a lot of these crimes have been reported or ready bro it's, it's almost sad to what's really going on in memphis now old lady house had got shot up by local reports apparently mpd also thinks is related and connected to the young Dolph murder just because of situations that they've seen and they can't share it with us so it doesn't mess up their investigation pretty much they sent some young folks who I don't know how allegedly they knew they went to that high school that had got hit up. They said they drove through the neighborhood and started, you know, spraying the whole educational purpose, the whole crib. And a nice, sweet lady, and she didn't get hit. Nothing happened in the situation, but it brought people to a whole lot of the burglaries going on. Since Young Dolph died, car burglaries been going on, homeowners been getting caught, home evasions been going up. And I, I wanted to do my research by going through the news and getting some old ones and new ones, but a lot of the new ones, let's go through the new ones first of the recent things that's been going on in Memphis, such as a man that was shot yesterday in the Southwest Memphis neighborhood and they also allegedly think it also has connections stemming from the Dolph case, allegedly. By gunfire in a Thanksgiving day interrupted by gunfire in a Southwest Memphis neighborhood. One man was shot and tonight, police are still looking for the shooter. WREG's Andrew Ellison has the latest on how the victim is doing. Before we get started, I almost forgot to pay them bills right quick. My bad, y'all. Now let's get back to the regular schedule scramble programming. At last check, he's in the hospital, but thankfully his wounds aren't Memphis neighborhood. One man Thanksgiving day interrupted by gunfire in a Southwest Memphis neighborhood. One man was shot and tonight police are still looking for the shooter. WREG's Andrew Ellison has the latest on how the victim is doing. At last check, he's in the hospital, but thankfully his wounds aren't critical. Certainly a sad incident on a day that's supposed to be happy. Families gathering for Thanksgiving thrown into a panic when gunfire rings out in this Southwest Memphis neighborhood. Everywhere, Thanksgiving, Christmas, all of it don't even matter. Police say a man was shot around 10:30 this morning near Deerskin and Buffalo Road. One witness says the shooter jumped out of a red car, then hid behind this wall before getting picked up by a white car that pulled up seconds later. Kind of scary. This woman heard the shots and immediately turned to her four young children. I jumped up and made sure my kids was down. So, yeah. Everybody ducked. Right, yes. We saw officers pouring over this Ford sedan parked around the corner, but investigators haven't said how that vehicle is involved. They also haven't said why the shooter opened fire. Yeah, we ducked. This man heard the shots. Five or six rapid gunfire while celebrating the holiday with his family. Happy Thanksgiving. But today... Not sad. The victim was rushed to Regional Medical Center, but thankfully in non-critical condition. I hope he'll be all right. Police still looking for the gunman tonight. This mother thankful her children weren't... Now, what's going on with the old lady earlier that I reported, what people don't know is they're trying to say some of the alleged killers, because remember, Jojo Splat and... um. CEO Bobby and all the other guys, they're not the only alleged killers in this that people have been throwing names out there. Also, there's unknown alleged killers, and that's what they're looking at into the old lady's incident because folks in them was really shooting at her spot. And it was to the point that um, a day and a half ago, two other dudes got hit up at Fraser's gas station and it left multiple people injured, you feel me? Let's go to that exclusive news brought to you by WREG News Channel 3. Thank you for your a Fraser gas station was the scene of not one, but two shootings overnight. Thank you for joining us this afternoon. I'm Alex Coleman. And I'm April Thompson. WREG's Kwamecha Wilburn spoke to people living in the area who say crime has gotten out of hand. It was a busy night for officers in the Fraser area after responding to not one, but two shootings at the Valero gas station on the corner of Delano Avenue. 
Hey, let me see if y'all from the hood for real. I promise you, why does, no matter which state I'm chilling in, every Valero gas station in the hood that I go to, there's always a shooting. In fact, me and my little cousin almost got shot by Fort Lauderdale Police Department just sitting in that hole. They thought we were some other niggas that they were looking for. So I just wanted to say in the comment section, put it down if you got some Valero gas station stories, hood stories that you would like to share with us. I'm about to do a new series, Valero Gas Station Mishaps. Let me get back to the show. The new in North Walking Street. Nonsense. Most of it is. It's just nonsense. It's just out of control. These men who didn't want to be identified live near the gas station and say they were awakened by all the commotion. I was asleep and heard gunshots that woke me up. Memphis police say the first shooting happened shortly after 10. Police say they found the three victims nearby. One of the men died at the hospital. MPD says a woman was also shot, but she's going to be okay. The third victim wasn't hurt. Memphis police say just one hour after they wrapped up their homicide investigation at this gas station, they were called back out here for another shooting. MPD says they were notified that a man armed with a rifle shot a woman. She was rushed to the hospital in critical condition. Her car is riddled in bullet holes. With the help of their canine unit, officers were able to locate a suspect who they say was hiding in an apartment complex behind the gas station. Police say it's unclear if the suspect knows the woman. This is my, you know, my neighborhood. I don't want to see this. Memphis police say the shootings are not related. Reporting from Frazier, Kwame Warborn, WREG News Channel 3. And if you have any information regarding that homicide, you can make an anonymous call to Crime Stoppers at 528. I know some of you bloggers out there getting ready for that Crime Stopper phone number ASAP. Oh, God, bro. But we, we don't do that where I'm from. Now, unfortunately, because of the young dog situation, there's been a lot of mishaps and back and forth with people thinking they know what's going on what was in tune with what but the old age situation and the gas station and then, then the other incident of the other shots that you seen reported that was those are just string of things bro it, like y'all know about the town hall they did already but they did another one and then it's the second one that got folks around the city you know this is the one they issued over here it's like a, a urgent meeting immediately let me play for you all right quick. Their team's Jeremy Pierre. He is out there with Shelby County Commissioner Van Turner. We're going to listen in right now. He's interviewing him right now. Let's listen in. Uh, authorities will get down to the bottom of what has occurred. And, uh, you know, uh, we as a community will come together, hopefully even more, and work together even more uh, to, to, you know, uh, calm the violence down. The gun uh, buyback program was just in Hickory Hill a few days ago. So efforts are being made. Chief Davis has started the Scorpion Squad. Efforts are being made, but, you know, that just means we have to do better and we have to do more. What does this mean? I mean, obviously, this is a lot. This is a huge presence. Um, and just knowing that Young Dolph, he did so much for the community. Right. Um, and a lot of people have already said they're tired of the violence. Right. Yeah. Well, I mean, this, this is... Uh, this is not good because it's horrible because he did give back to the community and he was doing his best to uh, make the community from, from whence he came. Now, there were strings of shootings all through the city. Things that just, you know what I'm saying, making people feel uncomfortable to leave their houses. And that's the reason why folks were saying all these curfews they were trying to implement, never knew if they did or not. But it just seems to be a lot of things in the situation. Briefed the press with this update. Um, at this time, uh, the shooter uh, is deceased. Uh, we believe that's going to be from a uh, self-inflicted gunshot wound. We have 13 victims. The, the chief also say that there was a, a separate crime scene or a separate area. Now, that was the incident that happened last year outside of Memphis where there was 13 people. I brought that because in that, they were supposed to be doing a buyback program even then. And I'm showing you what happens when they do these so-called town hall meetings. It's 
the things continue to happen. Like for instance, they had a major town hall meeting in 2019 where citizens were upset and frustrated. And when they had that meeting, it was like several days later, this is what happened. 15 people shot over the weekend in 2019 in Memphis. Let's go over that news report. Yeah, we're outside police headquarters where you can imagine detectives are still doing what they can for each of these cases. Folks, it's really disturbing knowing at least, at least, 15 people have been shot since Saturday. We want to start with the most recent, of course. Take a look at this attack happening last night on North 7th Street in North Memphis. You're looking at the aftermath. One man was killed, another critically injured. Police were there on the scene most of the night, really trying to gather information about the shooter. A neighbor telling us this was likely a drive-by shooting. And just hours earlier, around 7.30, a man was found shot on Interstate 240 and Norris Road. He was taken to Regional 1 in critical condition. Police are still looking for the shooter in that incident as well. And then early Sunday, five people were shot inside the Diamond of Memphis Strip Club. That's on East Brooks Road near the airport. A 19-year-old mother was killed, leaving behind a three-year-old daughter. Absolutely disheartening. Police are also investigating shootings downtown at 4th and Bill, a nightclub in Parkway Village, and also a convenience store. Even for a city that ranks near the top for violent crimes, this has been an extraordinary weekend. Speaking of extraordinary weekend, talk about when Dolph died. And that's what I'm trying to show y'all. It's a whole lot going on, if only you can see. It's just only chaos in the city. Well, they used to send police, but not in this numerous of amount. And bad news travel fast. And this don't look like good news right here. Actually, you know, um, when everything happened, I actually picked it up. I'm a political activist. I wanted to go, you know, see what was going on in my career. It's two men of our young black brothers being killed, and as of right now, no. I mean, words spoken by that dude, I want to salute him. It's a lot going on, man. Pray for Memphis. Pray for everybody involved. Rest in peace to Dolph. It's Dolph. I mean, I just had to say that right quick. Shout out to JSU and Primetime Deion Sanders, man. I get chills every time I see that video with Dolph in the locker room with all of them Jackson State University football players just turning up, man. And they turned up for him again. Um, go watch that video clip of JSU turning up for Dolph once more, man. Look, I'm your DJ, Bless One. Thank you for watching another episode of I Smoke Hip Hop Live. I'm going to keep bringing you current news, updated news. And if you missed the video, we'll replay that video again so y'all can't miss nothing. That's what we do over here. We're the mans of the people. Facts. Salute. Love your family. Love your kids. Stay blessed, gang.